In the intensely competitive commercial aviation industry, airlines, particularly low-cost carriers, are perpetually in pursuit of strategies to reduce operational expenses. These carriers' business model is based on the reduction of both direct expenditures, such as fuel and maintenance, and indirect costs, such as aircraft downtime. Particularly for operators who price tickets with razor-thin margins, even the slightest enhancements in efficiency can have a substantial impact on profitability. The adoption of new, more efficient aircraft engines is one of the most effective strategies for attaining these savings. In addition to reducing operating expenses, improved fuel efficiency, and reduced maintenance requirements enable airlines to offer more competitive fares and increase aircraft utilization, which is essential in the low-cost segment. The official presentation of the PD-8 aircraft engine by the state corporation Rostec and the United Engine Corporation, UEC, was a significant event at the Inoprom 2025 International Industrial Exhibition in Yekaterinburg. The PD-8 aircraft engine's exclusive footage, albeit without its nacelle, was also released. Construction Information Move City's 8th motor developed a short time of five years, two times practically faster than our most global competitors to date. This year we have already three and a half, one thousand hours, probably the engine. This is the plane we need for, which we will arrive here right by the way, that is between tests. So we will then send it to Komsomolsk for today, exactly. We confirmed this year the receipt of the type certificate, but also the first four engines. This year we have prepared the first two Grozin for a production aircraft under the Superjet and two engines. Now the readings have been excluded, now we give it under B200 at the end of the year, under repair to 436. Yes. Totally yes. Today we will work with constructors. Ah, the corresponding binding will be redone there instead of fastening, but here we are now working. At the end of the year, the engines will be shipped there. How is Sanich himself? The sun works. Huge hello. Yes, it works. The question is how many poles there should be. Yes, but Alexander... Alexandrovich. Often he doesn't care. As I understand it, I reported on PD-8 on NA. It's just him. I know that the question of production volume helped us. For today, huh? The engine is 25 years old. How long to make them? 20 zero. We plan this year to make the first four engines serial corresponding year ready to make 30 engines technologically. Maybe. Provide completely the aircraft that is the production boy. We make this engine completely. The cooperation of DKUS, this matter was distributed to factories today, including the first. Well, of course, there is no longer a basic market for the main subsistence economy, that is. All this is very important, and of course, we must understand that it is such a huge work of our engineers and designers that in such a short time to make such a level of solution in the field of engine construction. But the most important thing, of course, is safety, so we are here in that sense. I know she's a witness. Anton Alekhanov, all colleagues are extremely careful about this. All test cycles must be completed in order to provide us with safe engines and accordingly safe aircraft, which of course awaits our country, which awaits our airline. Good luck and thank you, thank you. Great. The PD-8 project's technological advancements were underscored by this uncommon behind-the-scenes glimpse, which enabled industry professionals and the public to closely examine the engine's design and engineering details, this level of transparency is unprecedented in the industry and serves as a testament to Rostec's assurance in the new engine's performance and construction. The decision to exhibit the engine without its nacelle served various purposes. This illustration highlights the depth of Russian domestic engineering and the lack of foreign-made parts, which is crucial in the context of ongoing import substitution by clearly showing the core components and integration work. The PD-8 is a major step in Russia's ongoing activities to attain technological self-reliance in civil aviation. The PD-8 is a significant departure from Western engine technology as it is specifically engineered for the import-substituted SJ-100 Superjet and the upgraded B-200 amphibious aircraft. 
The localization of critical aviation components has become a strategic necessity for Russia as a result of the recent geopolitical climate and the imposition of unilateral Western sanctions. This development is particularly germane. During Inoprom 2025, officials emphasized the enhanced fuel efficiency of the PD-8 engine as one of its most notable features. The engine shows a fuel consumption reduction of approximately 2 to 5% during cruise, compared to comparable models. However, the officials did not mention which engines the PD-8 engine was being compared to. This increase directly translates into substantial cost savings over the lifespan of an aircraft for airlines, particularly those that operate on thin margins. In addition to reducing direct operational expenses, reduced fuel consumption also contributes to a smaller environmental footprint, a growing concern in the global aviation industry. Another remarkable feature of the PD-8 is its rapid development. Rostec emphasized that the engine was developed from concept to production readiness in just over five years, which is approximately half the global average for similar initiatives. This rapid development cycle emphasizes Russia's pressing need to supplant foreign-made engines and illustrates the country's expanding engineering capabilities in response to external pressures. The PD-8 is also equipped with advanced thermoplastic composite materials, which were demonstrated by UEC at the exhibition. These materials contribute to a lighter engine, which in turn enhances fuel efficiency and reduces overall operating expenses. Furthermore, thermoplastics facilitate speedier manufacturing cycles and provide benefits in terms of recyclability and maintenance, thereby promoting economic and environmental sustainability. The PD-8 has already accumulated over 3,500 flight hours during certification tests in 2025, which is indicative of its reliability and readiness. This rigorous testing regimen assures the engine's efficacy and facilitates its introduction into commercial service. In the future, the PD-8 is expected to be mass-produced in 2025. UEC has declared its intention to manufacture 30 engines in the initial year, which will adequately equip 17 aircraft. Nevertheless, the domestic market's requirements are significantly greater, with an estimated demand of several hundred aircraft per year. To address this challenge, UEC will need to rapidly increase production with the objective of producing at least 100 engines per year for a particular type. The deployment of the PD-8 has a strategic impact on the Russian aviation industry. The primary impediment to the expansion of the proportion of domestically manufactured airliners has been the production of engines. Russia not only fortifies its position in the global aviation market, but also enhances its technological independence by surmounting this obstacle. The PD-8's development and production are therefore regarded as critical accomplishments as they contribute to the long-term sustainability and economic competitiveness of the civil aviation sector of the nation. Now, do you think PD-8 engine is being compared to the Russian-French SAM-146 engine? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.